So we went from six questions to 150. Um, how do you get more volunteers involved in audio? So I'll, say, I'll ask that question in a different way. Which volunteers should you get involved in audio? Um, <laughs> uh, Shane and I have had this conversation a lot of times. Uh, the, the number one thing that I always recommend is that the, the sound operator is a lover of music. That doesn't mean that you can't be a good sound operator if, you, if that's not your passion or if you're already in that role and you're going down the path. But recognize that some people are made for this and some people aren't. And you wouldn't put a musician on the stage that bought a guitar yesterday, right? Um, but we do that to sound operators and, and tech volunteers all the time. Um, like Shane said, just because you work at Dell Computer doesn't mean you're, a, you're qualified to run sound. Yeah, so look for uh, musical people on your team. So I, I'm probably a good example of this. Um, I was a musician. Um, I've always kind of been down both paths. Uh, and I learned that I'm better on that side of the console than I am on this side of the stage. Um, so if you have musicians that are interested in that, maybe they're not, uh, you know, they audition and they're not quite up to the standard that you're trying to meet, um, interview them at, in an audio position. Don't treat them like an expert because they're a musician, but cultivate that. Mm -hmm.